Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. Uh, no good deed goes unpunished apparently as I have been targeted for an excessive amount of harassment by a fellow YouTube user by the name of Yippie101 and uh, you can look at some of the comments that he has left on my videos. Uh, I I found out through him that his actual name is Ed Schwartz, Edward Schwartz, uh, in New Jersey. And um, he has posted, uh, embedded my video from here that I did on pedophilia, child molestation, and on the Jerry Sandusky trial, and on the commentary about the uh, man in Texas who apparently killed a man who was attempting to molest his daughter. And uh, he put that on his Facebook page and uh, put commentary with it, uh, accusing me of being imprisoned for child molestation and having been recently released, and accused me of various acts with uh, a young girl. And attributed it to the Associated Press in the post that he put on Facebook. Now, <clears throat> I have no problem with people disagreeing with me. Uh, I have been in many heated battles in all of my years here on YouTube with people on many different discussions, and uh, they have been very heated, and some people have uh, resorted to exceptional name calling and things of this nature, none of which bothers me. But uh, when you take uh, this level of activity, which by the way is illegal and libelous, by posting a commentary on your site, attributing it to a news source that names me by name, for committing acts that are libelous and absolutely untrue, especially ones that are as egregious as child molestation or pedophilia, then that crosses a line that should never be crossed. If you cannot disagree, if you cannot have an opinion without resorting to posting libelous lies of such an inflammatory nature, then obviously you're incapable of having any kind of meaningful discussion. Now I have reported him to both Facebook and to YouTube for the inflammatory, lying, libelous commentary, and I hope that something will be done about it, but just to set the record straight, if you disagree with me, I have no problem with you. But if you're going to then go and post something somewhere attributing some inflammatory, libelous lies, in criminal behavior to me, then I have no choice but to take action against you. Furthermore, if you look at some of his comments on other videos, you will notice that he is attempting to goad me into making some commentary about taking action, which obviously in his mind is uh, in some way to be uh, taking up violence or something of this nature. <clears throat> because he then floated the idea of mailing uh, fake anthrax letters to people in governmental positions uh, as a way of shutting down the government. To which I responded that going after commerce would probably be a better idea in general. And uh, he goaded me about that for a while until I gave him hypothetical scenarios of uh, introducing viruses or worms to shut down servers for Visa and MasterCard or um, uh, 
destroying credit and debt information for the major credit card companies as a hypothetical answer to his question. And of course, even if I wanted to do that, I couldn't because I have absolutely no idea about computer code. And I don't know anybody that knows anything about computer code either. So, you can see that perhaps this was an attempt to try and elicit some sort of uh, commentary that would paint me as, what, I don't know, a terrorist or something. I, I don't know what his ultimate goal was, but if you look at his comments, you can see that he's all over the map and it doesn't seem to follow any kind of logical uh, progress. But in any case, uh, you know, uh, if you see this material posted somewhere, I hope that you'll take the opportunity to uh, post your objection to it because it is so inflammatory and egregious, it needs to be addressed. And uh, as I said before, do not feel discouraged in disagreeing with me and even being very heated in your debates with me because I have no problem with that. But I do have a problem whenever you take it too far. And Yippee 101 has taken it too far. Edward Schwartz Yippee 101 has taken it much too far by posting libelous lies on his Facebook page, attributing it to the Associated Press, and attributing to me that I had been released from prison for child molestation, which is absolutely and categorically untrue. <clears throat> so, whenever, I guess, you are in the public spotlight, you have to be ready to deal with things of this nature which come up. And I'm taking whatever steps I can to make sure that uh, this is taken care of. But uh, it does not make it any easier to deal with from uh, a perspective of being in the public eye. So uh, don't take this as being a, a discouraging thing to any of you who decide to disagree with me. Uh, but do so within the realms of common decency and also within the realm of the legal and the lawful as well. Instead of committing a criminal act by posting a libelous statement and falsely attributing it to a news service for naming me for something that is absolutely untrue, libelous, and false. And uh, if you want to have a debate, I'll be more than happy to have a debate with you, but uh, taking it to that level is, uh, is way beyond the pale. Way beyond the pale. So, thank you for listening. Good day.